I lost three mates pretty close together to suicide. And the worst thing was that one of them came to me and, and he reached out and I missed the signs. Now I'm not responsible for him, for what he did, but I could have handled the situation a lot better. So that, um, that got me started looking into what is suicide and why do people do it. And the interesting, one of the interesting facts was that in, in the next 12 months, 20% of all Australians will experience a mental episode. But get this, in a lifetime, 50% of all Australians will experience a mental episode. So it's, um, those, those figures are really disturbing. So at any point in someone's life, they could be in a crisis and we wouldn't even know it. So the Beacon Fight for Life was brought about just for that, to, for, just for local community members to be able to identify their friends when they're in need and maybe give them five or 10 minutes of their time, even in their busy life. Yeah. Yeah, hi, my name's Troy Coward. Uh, I'm an Australian actor. I've done over 25 feature films, been in the film industry for a long time. Um, I've, to be honest, I've taken the past year and a half off to work on this, this cause, um, something that's close to my heart. Uh, I'd, I'd like to address the elephant in the room, if I may, and it's suicide. And suicide is the number one cause of death, which is a shocking statistic. Um, uh, I, I lost my dad to suicide when I was 15. Uh, it was a tough time. My family lost their house, their car, everything. It was pretty devastating for my brothers. Um, I've seen the first hand the effects that it has on on loved ones when someone makes that choice and decision to, to end their life. Um, and I'm just here to make a stand and we've founded the fight, the Beacon Fight for Life um, to really rid the stigma of suicide and, and really bring the communities together. Um, the multicultural communities throughout Western Australia and Australia and across the world really, uh, it is the number one cause of death and unfortunately there's still a stigma around it. Um, for these 36 years I was quite embarrassed and probably ashamed of, of admitting that my dad had made that choice, um, which is so silly because everyone has ups and downs in life. Both Troy and I would like to say thank you for this great opportunity to be part of the panel today. Yeah, thanks guys. Look, it's, it's a really important uh, message that we're trying to get across today. It's really just to choose life and to destigmatize this subject of suicide. Uh, the only way it's going to happen is if we all do come together and support our multicultural communities. So please, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, get in contact with the Beacon Fight for Life and yeah, let's do this together. And a big shout out to Elmi too at uh, Roots TV. Thank you for this opportunity. We really appreciate it.